the angel of the Lord will tidings to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Now Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, I have made of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Now Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Now Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to know the glory of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Amen. In Tuoi Voletare Dei et Dei Intuitivitari, Lui in Tutum Eo. You will come in this and shall come among the gentle and sound time and home in the corner of the soul. Amen. Quae tu us deus forti lucuma, quare felicit quare tristis in cielo, du fici benicus. Emi te lucem tu rivelitatem tu, mi simile du serunt du lux serunt in montum sanctum tu omere da manatra natura. Et in toi volatari dei, de intuitifica di un tutum meo. Come te lucim citera deus deus meus, quae tristis anima mea, quare tu dobas me. Sfere deo quone matra computebo iri, salutare lutus me et deus meo. Gloria, Patria, Filio, et Spiritu, et Santo, si poderat in principio, et nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. In Tuoi volatari Dei, et Dei intuitifica, di un tutum meum. Auditorum nostrum in nomine Domini, qui fece cenum et terra. Quam fiti, o Dami potente, via Domani, di Sentibile, via Pregare, Eterni, Gloria, Domani, da Cristo, e Santo, Postis, Petro, e Paolo, via Duan, Maria, Triani, Omnum, Sancti, Dubis, Pater, Quia, per Domini, in Espogitazione, Verbo, et Opere, Meo culpa, meo culpa, meo maximo culpa. E io prego Beata Maria, un seu Virgine, un Beato mi Dani Margancio, un Beato mi Juan Battista, un Santo Sposo Spetro, un Son, un Beato mi Juan Maria, un Beato mi Juan del Santo Tuo Spate, orrare pro me e dormi un Deo Vostro. Inseriato tu in impotenza e usi mis peccati sui sprute e per vita me te no. Ah! Quam fiti, O Deo mi potenti, in Beate Maria e Sente Virgini, in Beate Michali Arcangelo, in Beate Giovanni Battiste, Sanctis Apostolis Petru et Paolo, Omnibus Sanctis et Tutti Pate, qui ebbe Tabinini e Scogitazione, Verbo et Opere. Meo culpa, meo culpa, meo maxima culpa. E io prego, Beata Maria, in Sente Virgini, in Beate Michali Arcangelo, in Beate Giovanni Battiste, Sanctis Apostolis Petru et Paolo, Omne Sancto e Sette et Pate, Orrare pro me, ad omino Deo nostro. Miseriato vessi, mi potenze, usi i miei peccati, svesci, spiriti, 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 usi i miei peccati, svesci, Dominus obispo et cum spirito tuo. Ordemus. In lei Dio Ecclesia et Arvito Seius et in plebitem Dominus Spiritus Sapiens et Intellectus sola gloria in duitem. Bonum est officieri Domino et celer in nomine tuo Altissime. Gloria, Patria, et Filio, et Spiritu, et Santo, si poderat in principio, et nunc, et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. In medio, Ecclesia, et erruit, o Seus, et in plebe teum Dominus, Spiritus, Sapienza, et Intellectus, solam gloria in Dui Teum. Kyria eleison, Kyria eleison, Kyria eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Kyria eleison, Kyria eleison, Kyria eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus bone voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, 
Grazie da Gimus e Bifrotte, Madon Gloria in Tua. Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Onipotens, Domine Filuni Genita, Iesu Christe, Domine Deus, Agnus Dei, Filius Patris, qui tale peccato mundi, miserere nobis, qui tale peccato mundi, susci fede protezione nostra, miseris ed exerem Patris, miserere nobis. Gloria tu solus Sanctus, tu solus Dominus, tu solus Altissimus, Iesu Christe, Cum Sancto Spiritu in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Pax of Hobbies et Cum Spirito Tuo. Ordemus. Degus, qui populo Tuo et Herre salutis Beatum Hilarium Ministrum Tribuisti, presa Caesus, ut quando occorrem vine abuimus in tenis, et decessorem habere meriamur in celis. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium Tuum, qui tecum qui vita regna ad un'unitate su di tuo Santi Deus, per l'omnia sicura seculorum. Amen. Ordemus. Concede caesmus onnipotens Deus, ut ad meniorum vitam sanctorum tuorum exemplem nos protecent, quatemus quorum solemni agimus, et sia magus imitemus. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium Tuum, qui tecum vivut a regna ad un'unitate su ritus sancti Deus, per l'omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lex Epistole Viazzi Paoli Oposti e Timotei. Carissime, in testifi concorram Deo et Iesu Christo, qui iudicat purus est vivus e mortuus per adventum ipsius et regnum eus, Predica verbum insta opoturne, impoturne, acue, obsecre in crepe in omni pazientia doctrina. Elite in tempus cum sanum doctrina non sustene bun sede sua, desideria qua cedabun sibi magistros glorientis auribus, et veritati qui tem ambitum bebetem per patulas autem et competentum. Tu vero vigila in omnibus labora, opus fatio agibiste, ministerium tuo mille. Sopra Dios esto, ego enum iam delibor, et tempus esus sionis maestant, bonum ciatam in cetagli, cors in consumagli, fidem servagli, en redi quo pre positeres mihi corona justitiae, quam redi mihi dominus in illa die, justus iudex, non solo mauti mihi sere dies, qui dirigunt adventum eus. Deo gratias. Als iusi meritabit tu sapientia, med lingua es loqueto iudicium, Ex Deus in cosa Iusius e non sopratavunt lo Gresus Eus. Alleluia, alleluia, amavi Deum Dominus et unavi Deum, solum gloria in Tui Deum. Alleluia. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, sequentia Sancti Vangelii secundum Matteum, Gloria Tibi Domini. In illo tempore edixit Iesus discipuli suis, quas essi saltere, quod si salam vanio edit in quos alietur, et nihil volat vali putre, nisi et mutato fora, si cumbucetur ab hominibus. Quas essi slux mundi, non potes civitas abscondi supra monte falsita, Neque cendum lucernum et polum eam submodion, sed super candelabrum ut luceat omnibus qui in domus sum. Si lucer lux veste coram hominibus ut vita eam d'opera vestra bona, et glorificent patrum vestum qui in celis est. Non lite putare, qua oniam veni salvere legem ad profetas, non veni salvere sed ad implere. Amen, qui vede comobis, quale transia celum et terra iod unum aut unus apex non preteri vita lege, Dona Claudia Fiana, qui ergo salveri vulum de mandatis isis minimis et ocu veris i comines, minimus vocabitor in egnus celorum, qui alte fecerit et ocu veris hic magus vocabitor in egnus celorum. Laus, Tibi Christi. is the feast of Saint Hilary, Bishop of Poitiers and Doctor of the Church. The epistle is taken from the 
Second letter of St. Paul the Apostle to St. Timothy. Beloved, I adjure thee in the sight of God and of Jesus Christ, who is to be the judge of living and dead, in the name of his coming and of his kingdom. Preach the word, dwelling upon it continually, welcome or unwelcome. Bring home wrongdoing, comfort the waverer, rebuke the sinner with all the patience of a teacher. The time will surely come when men will grow tired of sound doctrine, always itching to hear something fresh. And so they will provide themselves with a continuous succession of new teachers as the whim takes them, turning a deaf ear to the truth, bestowing their attention on fables instead. It is for thee to be on the watch, to accept every hardship, to employ thyself in preaching the gospel and perform every duty of thy office, keeping a sober mind. As for me, my blood already flows in sacrifice. The time has nearly come when I can go free. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have redeemed my pledge. I look forward to the prize that is waiting for me, the prize I have earned. The Lord, the judge, whose award never goes amiss, will grant it to me when that day comes. To me, yes, and all those who have learned to welcome his appearing. And the Holy Gospel is a continuation of that according to St. Matthew. At this time Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. If the salt loses its taste, what is there left to give taste to it? There is no more to be done with it but throw it out of doors for men to tread it underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city cannot be hidden if it is built on a mountain top. A lamp is not likely to be put away under a bushel measure. It is put on the lampstand to give light to all the people of the house. And your light must shine so brightly before men that they can see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I have come to set aside the law and the prophets. I have not come to set them aside, but to bring them to perfection. Believe me, heaven and earth must disappear sooner than that one jot, one flourish disappear from the law. It must all be accomplished. Whoever then sets aside one of these commandments, though it were the least, and teaches men to do the like, will be of least account in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches others to keep them will be accounted in the kingdom of heaven as the greatest. Ave Maria, grazie plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu mulieribus e benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, orco nobis peccatoribus, nunc inter larimotis nostre. Amen. In nomine Patris e Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast mass, as we said on this, the feast day of St. Hilary, Bishop of Poitiers and Doctor of the Church. Uh, born between perhaps 300 and 310 AD uh, in Poitiers, or then, uh, as it was known, Pictavian. Indeed, uh, Pictavian, of course, uh, was its Latin term. Uh, Pict, of course, is the truncated term related to the uh, name that the Romans gave to the Celtic tribe, uh, who, of course, you may remember, uh, uh, resided in uh, Scotland. Uh, the Picts, of course, uh, who blighted Hadrian's War. Uh, he was born to a Roman patrician family, considerably wealthy uh, and uh, pagan, uh, meaning, in this sense, the Roman pagans rather than the Celtic ones. Uh, and having such wealth uh, and enjoying such uh, uh, nobility and favour, he was blessed to receive a robust and comprehensive education uh, for that time, early in the 4th century, uh, including the study of Greek, uh, which was unusual, considering that this was in the uh, Midwest of uh, Gaul, what we now know as France, uh, that was uh, Gallia to the uh, Romans, a uh, outlying Roman province. Uh, he uh, excelled in his uh, studies and uh, eventually uh, came across in his studies uh, a copy of the Old and the New Testaments. Uh, and it was uh, this that was to bring about his conversion. He was impressed uh, in the Old Testament by God's description of himself. I am who I am. And later he was uh, to be considerably impressed and converted, we may say, by reading the prologue to St John's Gospel, otherwise of course known to us as the last Gospel, as it is generally read at the end of every Mass. 
there of course his study are in Greek and of Greek uh, and classical philosophy uh, would have uh, appeal, appealed to him uh, the philosophical notion uh, of logos uh, given by St John there and of course uh, then its theological implications. It was for St Hilary uh, uh, a uh, culmination uh, of all his searching uh, as he had uh, tried or he had realised that there was much more to the world than simply uh, the material and physical existence. He then of course would go on to become one of the great doctors uh, of the church and a great defender of the faith against Arianism. Arianism of course was the belief that doubted that the, the two natures of Christ, rather asserting that Christ was uh, man by election, son of God, rather than by divinity. By 350 or 353, uh, he had uh, been elected uh, by the clergy of Poitiers on the region there as bishop. Uh, it's, uh, we might uh, just add that he was uh, married and had a daughter, St. Um Ambra, uh, who uh, later herself would be canonised, uh, but he was elected uh, Bishop of Poitiers. Uh, and as Bishop uh, set about uh, continuing to counter the uh, heresy of Arianism and becoming quite a prominent figure uh, in the Church at that time, in the Universal Church at that time. Uh, he would uh, eventually be, uh, uh, endure a little period of exile uh, towards the end of that decade of the 350s, uh, in large part for his denunciation of the Emperor Constantius uh, and uh, his defence of orthodoxy. Uh, and it is around this time that his writings became of particular note, uh, uh, De Synodis, uh, uh, De Contra Hereticas, and various others, uh, denouncing uh, not just the ideologies, the erroneous ideologies uh, in doctrine, but also some of uh, its, their proponents. Uh, these, of course, we are still blessed to have uh, today, though not, uh, in t though not all of them. Uh, nonetheless, uh, he uh, would have made short thrift, I think, of uh, many of today's bishops. He took no prisoners in his own day, uh, was quick uh, to condemn uh, even those uh, who uh, were not actually or not proven to be materially heretics. Uh, for example, he had a good go at St. Auxentius uh, of Milan, uh, but uh, uh, was bitterly defeated uh, in a, in a uh, theological uh, debate uh, in Italy, indeed uh, left Italy somewhat under a cloud uh, for having seemed to try to besmirch uh, Auxentius's name. Uh, he would have made short thrift, as I say, of many of today's bishops, his, uh, the general uh, thrust of his argument being uh, that those who are not orthodox in doctrine, who are not orthodox in praxis and faith, uh, must then be adherents of the Antichrist. And he did not shy away from uh, decrying those whom he perceived to be heterodox or knew to be heterodox as being followers of the Antichrist. Uh, Handedis in, in particular, uh, he railed against uh, what he perceived to be a, uh, a, a movement within uh, the church or among many of bishops to uh, uh, bend the church to the ideologies uh, of the world to, the world, to the world's way of thinking rather than staying steadfast and true uh, to the objective truth of Christ and the Orthodox faith. There are many, of course, today uh, who still try. Uh, a, there are many today who uh, still fall foul of uh, a form of or modes of Arianism, and there are still those today, there are still bishops indeed, even today, uh, who try to um, uh, bend uh, theology to uh, uh, suit the world's ideologies. Uh, we see this a great deal, particularly uh, um, in the West. He uh, returned from exile after he was exiled to Phrygia for four years 
as I say, towards the end of, three of the 350s, uh, returning to uh, Poitiers sometime around 361. Uh, continuing then to administer and govern his diocese uh, with right doctrine and orthodox praxis until his death, according to St. Jerome, around uh, 367, some scholars say uh, 368 AD. He was uh, quickly uh, uh, raised to the altars, we might say. He was uh, uh, venerated. Uh, the earliest church dedication to his patronage being that of uh, Monferrato in Italy around 380 AD uh, and indeed uh, there are uh, places, uh, villages, uh, hamlets uh, and uh, churches dedicated to St Hilary uh, uh, from uh, those early centuries uh, from about the uh, late 4th early 5th century onwards places even indeed in Wales and Ireland. He is also uh, accredited with being uh, the uh, patron saint of lawyers, um, uh, perhaps because of the uh, gospel reading uh, from the Mass uh, for his feast day, uh, that uh, uh, our Lord, of course, uh, saying that we must, that he comes uh, to fulfil uh, the law and that all of it must be fulfilled. Uh, and uh, in uh, legal and uh, universities, uh, uh, in the legal profession and universities, uh, this springtime uh, is term is often known as St Hilary term or Hilary term, uh, beginning or returning as they do from the Christmas vacation uh, around this time. As I said, there's, uh, as I always say, there is much that we can learn from uh, the lives and examples and teachings of the saints. Hilary being hailed as a Doctor of the Universal Church from uh, the time from from 1851, uh, given that title by Pius IX of implicitous memory. Uh, nonetheless, uh, Saint Hilary, of course, uh, a, a beacon uh, of light for us. The fourth century, of course, was a very important period of history uh, for the Church. The Church, of course, before that had been enduring great periods of persecution, none greater than, of course, at the turn of that century from the 3rd to the 4th, uh, and enduring the great persecution under Diocletian, the worst of all those persecutions in the early Church period. Uh, in the 4th century, with the uh, uh, supposed donation of Constantine, but certainly with uh, Constantine's blessing, uh, in the empire, the church uh, began to uh, grow and gain considerable uh, influence and herself begin to uh, uh, clearly uh, organise uh, herself regarding not just structures and ecclesiology and hierarchies, uh, but also too in terms of the doctrine of the faith. So that, of course, you may remember that in 325, we have the first Council of Nicaea, uh, which establishes the Constantinopolitan Creed, uh, that we uh, still uh, recite now uh, on Sundays and great feast days and of course later after this homily on the feasts of doctors of the church. So the fourth century is a fascinating period of uh, early church history that I uh, uh, can, uh, will always strongly commend uh, to your study, uh, for your edification and your enlightenment and uh, indeed you will I think be surprised to uh, spot uh, how many similarities uh, there were uh, in those days, uh, both in terms of the theological sphere uh, and, or ecclesiastical sphere, as well as in the uh, secular uh, sphere, in terms of the of values and mores, and morals and arguments, uh, all of which uh, still abound today. As I've said before, uh, though we may have uh, indeed uh, increased uh, some of our understanding of various things and certainly uh, have invented some great, uh, we have made some significant breakthroughs in inventions etc. We still at heart as humans have not really evolved very much in 2000 years uh, and you will see that uh, if you study uh, the patristic uh, era and particularly uh, the time that century, uh, the fourth century. As I uh, referred to earlier, the church today, of course, uh, is still uh, enduring uh, uh, attempts 
uh, to uh, mould and manipulate and even alter and change her theology, her doctrine, uh, her teaching uh, to appease uh, contemporary uh, worldly ideologies. So that in various ways uh, we can see how uh, the battle between good and evil uh, continues uh, even in our own time. There have been uh, really some quite advanced and uh, uh, shocking uh, changes uh, to the way uh, our, our society thinks uh, um, that have um, that really are really quite um, uh, for example um, uh, abortion for example uh, the notion that uh, uh, the, the irrational and illogical notion that somehow uh, a child an unborn child should bear the punishment uh, perhaps of uh, uh, a parent uh, that life uh, is, is, is somehow a choice, a matter of choice, when life, of course, uh, is a gift. Uh, the, um, now, the, um, at the beginning, the, the, the stirrings, uh, particularly amongst uh, acad uh, acad in, in academia, um, uh, trying to uh, justify uh, pedophilia, uh, and uh, trying to suggest that uh, uh, this could be uh, socially acceptable. Um, people uh, mutilating themselves to uh, suit their whims and fancies about themselves um, in all sorts of ways. Uh, we live in a topsy-turvy world. The world has gone mad. Uh, what is black today is white today, uh, as Paul Porter once wrote in Anything Goes. Which is why, my brothers and sisters, we who adhere to the Orthodox faith need ourselves to be resolute and sure of what it is we believe. And as I've said before, a good ready reckoner uh, for maintaining orthodoxy in one's own observance of the faith and understanding of the faith is the, uh, what is known as the Vincentian Canon of St. Lerin, uh, of uh, uh, St. Vincent of Lerins, uh, who says, uh, the Catholic faith, in other words, the true faith, is that which has always been believed everywhere and by all. As Proverbs tells us, there is nothing new under the sun. And so much of what we hear or what supposedly passes for contemporary theological discourse uh, is indeed just old heresies reworked and rehashed, in large part because of the ignorance uh, of many uh, who have not studied uh, 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 the patristics, who have not studied uh, uh, properly uh, uh, the Bible, uh, the scriptures, uh, and who uh, continually fall prey uh, to the modern sense of self, uh, to the modern sense of subjectivism and relativism. Whereas, my brothers and sisters, Christ's teaching, Christ's doctrine, uh, it reflects his nature. It is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Uh, many say, of course, oh, well, when Jesus came 2,000 years ago, you know, things were different. Well, actually, amongst, uh, as I said before, uh, for humanity, things were no different. Things were no different. Immorality was the same. Sense of self and self-preservation or self-survival or or selfishness was still as prevalent then as it is now. It's easy, my brothers and sisters, as so many do, to relativize and subjectivize existence uh, by uh, framing it all the time in circumstances of, uh, uh, in, uh, sorry, by framing it all the time in uh, circumstantial uh, evidence rather than. Uh, trying to recognise uh, and see uh, objectively, to discern the objective truth about the reality of our existence. There's no point, there's no good, my, no good will come, my brothers and sisters, of trying to constrain uh, uh, the scriptures uh, and the teachings of Christ 
uh, to a particular period of human history because that is not who Christ was, it's not why Christ came. Yes, he came at a particular time, but he came for all eternity. His teaching is for all eternity, and that eternity stretches backwards and forwards from the moment of his uh, divine interaction and intervention in our world by his incarnation. That's an important point, my brothers and sisters, for us to remember that so many people don't. That when our Lord came, the Word made flesh, he who is the author and inspiration uh, of life, uh, the source of life itself, uh, the source of inspiration and author, ultimately, of the Holy Scriptures themselves. Uh, he, uh, his truths uh, were divinely revealed, uh, have, uh, the, have an eternal aspect and nature to them. So that there was but one single deposit of the faith once delivered to the saints, which it has been uh, forever the tradition of the Church to maintain and simply to uh, pass on that which she has in turn received from generations of Orthodox saints. This is what we ourselves, my brothers and sisters, ought to do. To humbly recognise and accept and receive that which has been believed always, everywhere and by all. Conform and live our lives to it and pass it on and teach it to successive generations. Why? Because it is these teachings that have guaranteed the salvation of souls for 2,000 years. These teachings come not from human inspiration, but from God, revealed in the person of Emmanuel, God with us, Christ our Lord himself. He who is the light of the world, he who is the light which is the life of men, he who bids us, as we heard in today's Gospel, to be lights to the world. And as we reflected in the Epiphany Octave, indeed he is our light, he is our guiding star, but so too should we become such uh, for our world. Beacons of hope, beacons of faith, beacons of charity against the despair and isolationism and nihilism uh, that particularly now uh, uh, abounds in our societies and we do this my brothers and sisters by adhering to the orthodox faith to adhering uh, to maintaining orthopraxis right practice of the faith and ourselves of course doing so through humble submission and humility toward God in accepting his teaching and his laws as revealed to us by his son Let us apply ourselves there too, my brothers and sisters, and remember both in and out of season, whether it is fashionable or not. Indeed, the faith often needs, must be counter, uh, cultural counter, radical, uh, to the ideologies of the world around us. That ultimately, though may not intentionally result, do result in the destruction, not just of the body often, but truly of souls. Because to deny God, to deny his existence, is to not know why one exists and has then ultimately no purpose in one's life. Because there is more to this life than all the pleasures that the world has to offer. This is but a passing phase of our existence. For our true nature is of God and desires ultimately to return to God. It is as the psalmist says, my soul's desire to seek thy face, O God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Credo in unum Deum, Patrem Omnipotentem, Patorum Celia Tere, Visibilium Omnium et Invisibilium, et in unum Dominum Iesum Christum Filium de Unigenitum, et ex patria antamantia omnia secula, Deum de Deum Lumen de Lumine, Deum Verum de Deum Verum, Genetum no Facum Consistantiam in Patri, 
Bei der Mann ja Vater Sohn. Wir brauchen uns haben, wenn es ein Brand uns Salut haben, der Schädel der Schädel Et in canatus est de Spiritus Santo ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus et sempre nome so pancio canatu passus et sopultus est, et resurrexi tessi de secundo scripturas, et descendit in celum sed de texten an patris. Et iterum venturus est un glorio ricari vivos e motivos, cuius redi non eri finis. Et in Spiritum Sanctum Dominum et Fificantem, qui ex patri procedit, Qui con Padre e Figlio se male dore torre con, glo- con glorifica tuor qui lo putus est per protetas. Et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, confirmo uno baptismo e missione per peporum, ed expecto resurrezione mortuorum in vita venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus obiscum et in spirito orde. Justus ut pavo floreti, sicu centus, quendi pano es multiplicabitur.
Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, Sosum Corda, Ave Musa Dominum, Gracias Agabus Domino Deo Nostro, Dignum et Justum Est. Veri Dignum et Justum Est, Eco me salutari nos tibi sempre, et ubi quae gracias Angele Domine Sancte Pate non dipotens et tenetes, et Christum Dominum Nostrum, Pequem Mestat in Tuum Anta, Perquem estat in tuum laudens angeli adorandum in actionis tremus monestatis, celis erumque vetute de beati certin, soci sut actioni concelebrant. Cum quibus in nostis voces ultimit iubesti apretamur, suplici confessione dice. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Severat, in plenis un celi et terram gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus mi venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis.
fuck with like the daughters and shit. Ecce honius Dei, ecce quitore peccato mundi. In Domine non sen ignus ut in tresa tectum meo, se tantum dic vembo et sen navitur anima mea. In Domine non sen ignus ut in tresa tectum meo, se tantum dic vembo et sen navitur anima mea. In Domine non sen ignus ut in tresa tectum meo, se tantum dic vembo et sen navitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online, we now invite you to make an act of spiritual communion. 
My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the blessed sacrament. I love thee above all things and desire thee in my soul. Though I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As if thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
possibili dobbiamo sopra famiglia sua e le dire in tempo e critici nel suo. Domino soviscum et cum spirito tu. Arrebus. Ut nobis domine tuo sacrificio del salutem. Beatus hilarius pontifes tuos et doctene regius quesmus precato et cedat. Per domino nostro Iesu Christum filium tuum. Qui tale cum tu vedrai regna ad un'unità di spirito santi Deus. Per la mia secula seculorum. Amen. Orremus. Caes musta amene salutaribus reclesime sedis, ut viasi felicis mastiris tui, cuius salemnia celebramus, orationibus et vivemus. Per Domino nostrum, Iesu Christum, Filium tuum, mi tecum de vita regna ad un'unitatis unitus santi Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus Obiscu, et cum Spirito Tuo, ite misa est, Deo gratias. Nome Domini Benedictum, ex omnum conusco, in se, curato Domini nostro, in nomine Domini, qui feci cero me terra. Benedicat vos, omnipotens Deus. Pater, et filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, inizium Sancti Evangelii secundum Giovanne, Gloria a Tibi Domine. In principio, ora et bevum, et bevum, ora et acudeum, et Deus, ora et bevum, hoc erat in principio acudeum. Omnio Prinsum Factus, un Christum so Factus, Diego Factum est. In iso vita erat, in vita erat, lus hominum, lus in tenebris, luce, et tenebra, e non comprehendevum. Quei tuo momento sul tempo non avrà più anni, se qui eri ti testi muri, mu testi muri per bene, tu lumine, con l'esperto non per il lume. Non è il te di lux, se lo testi muri per bene, tu lumine. Era il flux vera, qua il lumine, tu amne, non è veniente, ma non muri lum. E muri per l'altro, muri su l'ipsum facto, se se muri su non con gli occhi. Tu proprio i veri gizum non lo c'è pero. Qual qual altro tempo c'è pero, te invece vuole stato, infine io stai fieri, chi scrive che è di nomine, e us. Qui non è sangue, vieni con sex, volontati, cari, sex, volontati, vieni, se ne deve una di sum. Et verbum carro factum est, et habitavit in nobis et vinimus gloria meus gloria quasi unigenite e patre, per grazia e veritatis. Neo gratias. Herr Mary, fru grace lulis, vidi blessi la vomo, gomine blessi dis fruto pagum Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Now, Mary, through grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed are all among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Now, Mary, through grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed are all among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our light, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for all vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who art our refuge and our strength, look down in mercy on thy people who cry to thee, and by the intercession of the glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, and thy blessed Apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all thy saints. In mercy, would we see our prayers for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, who defend us in the day of battle, be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, Satan, and all wicked spirits, who wander through the world to the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. May St. Hilary, Bishop of Poitiers and Doctor of the Church, pray for us. St. Catherine of Stenning, pray for us. St. Wilfred of York, Pray for us, and Richard of Chichester, 
pray for us. In the winner of Alphysum, pray for us. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Our Holy Guardian Angels, pray for us. Our Heavenly Patron Saints, pray for us. Our Lady Queen of Heaven, all the angels and saints, pray for us.